Now we are going to solve question number six. What exactly this question is telling us? So guys, just focus. The first word we have an electron. Okay, if we have this word, we have the two things with us. This is called electron. We have two things. One is called mass, which is fixed value, and the other thing is the charge. Okay. So the mass is nine point one multiplied ten raised to power negative thirty one kg. Okay, the charge is one point six multiplied ten raised to power negative nineteen coulomb. Okay, an electron with kinetic energy. Okay, and the value is given. Kinetic energy is two electron volt. Okay, the second point. This is the first point. I will write first. Second point. We have kinetic energy. What is the formula? Okay, just tell me fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fast, fast, fast. Half m v square. So, what is the value of kinetic energy? Kinetic energy is equals to two kilo electron volt. And see, guys, just for you. It is given one electron volt. What is the value of one electron volt? Is one point six times ten raised to power nineteen negative nineteen. So you can solve this. You can solve this easily. Two multiply kilo. Kilo means ten power three multiply. Electron volt means one point six multiply ten raised to power negative nineteen joule. This is the unit. So if we solve it. So what we get? Two multiply one point six three point two multiply ten raised to the power negative sixteen joule. Okay, this is our kinetic energy. Fine. So we can simply say kinetic energy, which is equals to half m v square, which is equals to three point two times ten raised to the power negative sixteen joule. Okay, fine. Now back to the question. So an electron with kinetic kinetic energy. So means one electron starts moving with the help of some kinetic energy is fired. Okay, fired horizontally. So we are firing it horizontally. This is the key word, huh? Fired horizontally. Okay. So as per the question, just focus here, huh, guys? There is one electron. What we have here? electron okay i'll change the color so that it will be clear to you so we have an electron here and we are throwing it horizontally this is horizontally clear okay now then what will happen just try to understand at one point of time this will fall down let's see what will happen Okay, fired horizontally across a horizontally oriented charge conducting plate. This one is charge conducting plate with surface charge density of plus. This is the keyword. Ah, huh? I will write here. Ah, huh? sigma is surface charge density, and he said positive. Four point zero zero multiply ten raised to the power negative six coulomb. What does it mean? First, try to understand what is sigma, charge by area. Yes or no? Okay. So if I said sigma is positive, if I said sigma is positive, so what is the meaning of this? It means charge is also positive. So if charge is positive, means we are discussing about the positively charged plate okay and he is talking about the conducting plate okay so it is shown here there is a plate you can focus here i'll change the color okay i will just highlight this part so can you see this plate yes guys with the green color so this is your plate okay fine taking the positive direction to be upward means if something is going up if something is going up so it means that should be positive and if something is going down that should be negative clear okay taking the positive direction to be upward away from the plate away from the plate what is the vertical deflection this is the major thing huh? 
what we need to find vertical deflection means change in the value of the electron after after it has traveled a horizontal distance of four centimeter okay guys now the major thing what you need to focus on see this electron starts moving okay it move up to a distance of four centimeter clear after that it starts falling down clear so we need to find out from this point until where it goes clear fine guys okay now just try to find out so what exactly we are looking for it starts from here and it moves till any other point which is called y f and starting point is initial point y zero so what exactly we are looking for just try to understand we are looking for difference let's say this is called initial point and this is called final point because body is going down so it starts from here and it is going down so this is your initial point y naught this is your final point y f so what we are looking for we are looking for y f minus y initial if you understand what exactly we are looking for then now it becomes easy for us to solve okay see guys now when you are solving this question so before solving this question go to the question number 11 and just try to understand all the concepts huh? which i already explained there so we need to find the distance we need to find the distance okay so use the formula for the distance so step one step one which you already learned in the grade 11 so you learn y final equal y initial plus v y naught time plus half acceleration t square this is the equation of motion okay use this and we need to solve it so where the electron is going step two step two okay step two we know initial velocity of the electron initial velocity that is your initial velocity along y-axis okay along y-axis which is zero zero meter per second because when we projected the electron that is along x-axis not y-axis second thing okay here the body or the electron is moving downward yes or no downward so it means the value should be negative clear guys okay so now apply these two things in your equation number one so now we have step three step three apply these things so we get yf equal yi plus zero minus half a t square so can i write like this yf rearrange this yi i take this value this side equal negative half a t square clear guys now we need all these values to find out the yf minus yi so in this there are the two factors what exactly we are looking for we are looking for acceleration we are looking for time okay and we have the kinetic energy and other things okay so guys the first thing what we need to find acceleration so very easy to find acceleration we have the two forces f is equals to q times e yes or no okay in this we have what we are using we are using the plates so we know as per as per goes theorem goes theorem we know electric field between the plates electric field between the plates what should be the formula sigma by epsilon not sigma is given now so can i say force is equals to q times instead of e sigma by epsilon not fine guys okay now give him a number one two three okay give him step number four okay 
we will come back to the time first we will solve the acceleration okay now for step number five we have the other force we have other force f equals m a we know this thing okay give him step number five so from equation from equation four and five can i say m a equals q times sigma by epsilon naught okay then solve the acceleration acceleration is q sigma divided by m times epsilon naught this is your equation number six clear okay now we need to use the time also so guys time time is very simple to understand when the body start moving we need to find the time so if you consider the diagram again body starts from here that is your y naught when it starts moving like this okay so this should be the maximum point but this is moving horizontally that should be the x final okay it's moving in the horizontal direction clear and what should be the velocity you can say velocity is v naught x so what is the time we know the time is equals to what should be the formula guys tell me fast we have distance divided by velocity so what is the distance he is covering he is co covering xf divided by v naught x clear okay now just be in a parallel way this is your equation number seven clear as we know we have the kinetic energy also okay i will just now go for the next step this is for your step number three now you need to understand step number four step four use kinetic energy to replace velocity because we do not have the value of velocity so we know kinetic energy which is equals to half m v square and where it is moving motion along x axis so if the motion is along x axis so can i say v x square so can i say v x square is equals to two times of kinetic energy divided by mass just to rearrange them okay so this is our v square so this is our equation number eight so place value of v x square in equation seven okay guys now what we have equation number seven this is our equation so what is the equation time t is equals to x divided by v x so x divided by what is the v so can i solve from here uh, v x is equals to root of two kinetic energy divided by m so can i write here root of two times of kinetic energy divided by m clear this is your equation number nine so guys now you have the time okay and you have the acceleration clear so please place all these things in this equation number three equation number three so put equation uh, six and nine in equation three so what we have yf minus yi equal negative half a acceleration what is acceleration q times sigma what we have m times epsilon naught and what we have t square so t square means x divided by root 2 kinetic energy divided by m whole square just solve it guys so what we have yf minus yi yf minus yi which is equals to negative half q sigma by m epsilon naught solve this part x square divided by 2 kinetic energy divided by m this m and this m is cancelled so we have all the values now 
we have all the parameters okay so as per the question so guys what is the value of q we have we have the electron okay so just place the values q we have electron which is equals to 1.6 multiply 10 is for negative 19 okay first one sigma sigma is given in the question okay what is the sigma 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 plus 4 multiply 10 raised to power negative 6 okay sigma is done absolute not we already know 8.85 multiply 10 raised to power negative 12 okay 3 done okay x x is the distance which is given 4 centimeter 4 centimeter so converted into meter 0 0.04 meter fine and kinetic energy so kinetic energy is given 2 kilo electron volt we already solved 3.2 multiply 10 raised to power negative 16 joule so guys place all these value in the formula so yf minus yi equal negative half so q is 1.6 1.6 times 10 raised to power negative 19 multiply sigma is 4 multiply 10 raised to power negative 6 divide by epsilon naught 8.85 multiply 10 raised to power negative 12 okay second part x square uh, 0 0.04 square divided by 2 times of kinetic energy 3.2 multiply 10 raised to power negative 16 clear guys solve this yf minus yi so what you will get you will get 0 0.0903 you can say meter so when you convert this into centimeter so you can say 9.03 centimeter clear guys so this is the distance covered by the electron while moving towards the positive plate okay guys clear